Ernie, Ernie Ho, and my number is 4135. <clears throat> I'm strongly opposed to uh, SB1. I quote from, uh, this is actually from us, one of the representatives, one of your, uh, Tulsi Gabbard. Marriage is a bond of love and it's a spiritual and metaphysical in nature, Gabbard told Civil Beat in an interview. It's a sacred bond and it's not an area where government should be involved. That said, marriage is a matter of divine nature that is not subject to the voter whim of our legislators or even ourselves. However, since you are determined to legislate on this issue of marriage, as much as you listen to the advocates of SB1 on marriage equality, please give the thousands and thousands of people who are also opposed to SB1. And if you're determined to uh, pass this through, then I beseech you, ask you for the, the time to spend on this, this uh, very important bill, please. Uh, having said that, uh, I'm against uh, SB1. Uh, because I think at the heart and the core of this issue is the promotion of unrestricted sexual behavior. As one pastor put, there is the boundaries and guidelines that, and principles that are contained in not just Christianity, but you know, most of the major religions, Buddhism, Hinduism, uh, Jewish, uh, uh, Judaism, uh, all the major religions have such kind of uh, principles. And... Uh, you know, let's take away the dignified titles of equality, civil rights, and marriage, those noble titles. Are we, as, as you as legislators, are we as religious leaders, educators, proud of promoting such unrestricted, illicit sexual practices? Uh, I'm using uh, the nice word. Would we be proud of leaving a legacy for our descendants that we are instrumental in promoting, we were instrumental in promoting and facilitating this kind of unrestricted sexual practices? Are we are proud to wear the title of free sex on our t-shirts, bumper stickers on our cards, our flags? Yeah, maybe many people are, but thank you. I'm, I'm addressing, uh, okay, finish. Okay, thank you. Um, next, uh, couple